All right, I'm going to show you how to do a fire stick. Ours, they come out with some new updates and stuff, so I'm just going to uninstall ours. Okay, the first thing you need to do whenever you get your fire stick is you go to device, go to developer options, you turn both of these on. All right, once you turn both of them on, come over here to applications and turn your collect app usage data off because you don't want them to collect any data that you're using anything on your fire stick. Next thing you want to do is come over here to your search button, type in E S and go down to ES File Explorer. Alright, I've already got this downloaded. You just click on it and you download it. Okay. This is what it looks like whenever you open it up. You come over here to your favorites and you click on add and you add your path. And I'll show you the website here in just a second. Whenever you name it, just name it Gary. That way you can always go back to it if you ever have to do anything. See, I'll come down here and it's called Gary. All right. You click on that and it opens this up. Alright. This is your website you want to type in for your path. And then you just click next. And then it's going to add you right there. And you name it. Gary. That way you always know where to go back to if you've got to do anything with it. Okay, then you just click on add. I've already got it added, so I'm just going to cancel. And whenever you add it, and you go to it, this is what it's going to bring up. Go down here, you go to your APKs. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to download the one mobile market APK. This this puts your uh, your VPNs on here. Okay, and then it's got you want to do your MX player. That's Terrarium, but I'll tell you about that later. You also want to do your Cody seventeen point six Krypton. He's got his own updated version of it works really well and there should be another one of these terrarium yep terrarium no ads APK okay and to open these APKs you just click on it you just push your select button one time all right go down Go all the way over here to your more in the bottom right. You open in browser. Just once. And it starts downloading. You want to do the one with no ads. That way you don't... Usually you have to pay for it, but I don't know how you got this one with no ads. So. You install it all the way over you say install terrarium comes with two uh, video players already built into it you just want to do MX player because it's a really good player sometimes if you're if the XO beta stops working you can just switch over to MX player and you can keep on watching Otherwise, you'd have to like get out of there and restart it and all that stuff to get it back to working. It's just it just helps. Okay.
Okay, once you're done installing it, you click open. You can see it'll ask you which player you want to select. And the MX player is usually is the one I usually go with. Every time it goes to update, it will have this right here posted. It's just telling you all the stuff that they're going to update. You click OK. You accept. All right. Now then, the first thing you want to do whenever you get your terrarium, you go to these three lines up here in the top left. You select it. You go down to your settings. And you go all the way down to the force the Android TV. You want to always every every time it updates, you want to come back and check this Android TV right here in force Android TV mode. That lets it know that you're playing it on a TV and not on a mobile phone or a tablet or a laptop. Okay, now this is Terrarium. It's got pretty much everything on it. This is your TV shows if you. If you want to watch it, you just click on it. I'm going to add that to my favorites because that is one of our favorites. You go to your season. And whenever you start watching something, it'll pick up from the last episode that you left off, which is really nice. Once you add something to your favorites, this is what I like about it is, you know, Cody, most of the time when you add it to your favorites, it's you can't really go back to it and go near as fast. I don't know why it's taking so long to load here. Usually this is a really fast player. Okay. Go to your season eight. Just click OK. We've watched all these, but it's a new update, so okay. Now like I was saying about your favorites, you just go over there to your little star. Bam, that's your favorites. There you go. Just go through your list and pick which one you want to watch. If you want to go to watch movies, just click on them three deals. You go down, type movies, bam, there you are. There's all the new movies. This is a really nice player right here. I, I use it more than I ever even thought about using Cody. You also want to uh, check your, your videos or your... your you want to use the Google video sources or the Streamango. They're usually your fastest sources. Okay. Now let's do the Kodi install. Go to All right. Once you get in here to your Kodi, you go to your Kodi 17.6 Krypton. Go down. You go to the more over there in the bottom corner. Open in browser just once and it starts downloading your Kodi. Alright, this looks like it's going to take a while for it to download, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll pick back up after it's done. Alright, so that finished downloading. You go over here, you open file, go to install. Install it. Install it again. Go to open. All right, you go up to the gear icon. Go to your system settings, go to add-ons, turn your unknown sources on, say yes. Go to your add-ons. Go 
it back up to the gear icon. Go to file manager. Add source. We put in the same website from before. H T T P colon slash slash Gary 3D FX Tech. There it is. You, if you need to type it in, press pause right now. All right, there we go. Say OK. You want to name this Dot Gary so it shows up at the top of your list. And say OK. OK. There it is. Dot Gary. Alright. Let's go to our add ons. Go up to the box. Install from zip file. Go to your dot Gary. And you come down to builds. Yeah, right here you go to your plugin video Gary 3D Effects Wizard Zip. All right, you click on that. Should tell you up in the top right whenever it gets installed. There it is. There's your Gary 3D Effects Wizard. Go to your add-ons and it'll be there. Okay. You open it and you pick which build you want. I'm going to go with the Cody 17 Krypton build 2.8. Alright. This comes with all your preset add ons and everything. Alright, you wait until this gets done. It's probably going to take you about 20 or 30 minutes. Alright, whenever it's done, you just unplug your your uh, fire stick or your TV box, and then you plug it back in. Alright, I'm going to stop this video here for the next, of whenever we get it all downloaded. Alright, go for it. Alright. As you can see, the download is complete. Now you got to go up there, and it says to force close Cody. But uh, all I'm going to do is unplug the power cord and plug it back in. Now you just let your fire stick reboot and it should upload all the settings for your new version of Cody. I'm going to walk you through a few steps of getting your add-ons and removing stuff if you don't want it on there. See, this is how the custom version loads up.
Alright. See how it has all these different sections. You got your sports and your live TV, TV shows, movies, kids, music, weather, favorites, power, system, programs, and adults. I'm going to remove the adult section. Alright. If you want to use any of the things, like you may need to go to. System. Go to your skin settings. All right, and to make you can change the position of your bar. You can put it in the lower, the middle, or the top through this right here. So there's the center and the lower. I like it in the lower because it, it looks better. All right. Go to your customization over here on your left side. And just do the remind me later, dismiss. See, it's loading more, more of the features. I'll wait till it's done. Okay, go to your customization. Go to set up the Eon Nux main menu. And over here on the left side, these are all your stuff in your main menu. You just go to the adults and push, push the over to get it to go from the down, up, plus, and X. You click on the X. And that's going to remove it from your uh, your menu now, so your kids won't be able to go to it. But that's that's not all you got to do. You also got to go through to your video and see. When, once this is done, the skin shortcuts it should remove the adult section from your menu. There it is. Just uploaded. There's no adult section no more. Okay, now you go to your videos. You go to your add ons. This is where you load all of your different programs that you can watch TV through here. Go to your add ons. This shows all the add-ons that you have installed. And these all come basically installed on this preset version. It's got a whole lot of good, good programs. Okay. Now if you want to remove these porn, you just go to that one right there. You push the, the button with three lines on your remote at your options button. Go to the information. Over here on the left side, you go to uninstall. And yes, you uninstall. And then that removes your, it will remove them from your list. And once you go through, you do all of them like that. They're no longer on your fire stick. And you just have to go through each one of them to figure out which one is your your adults. The way you know is it'll say adult down there in the bottom bottom left of the screen. See how it says the 18 plus only? That, that's how you know. You go to this button right here. You go to your video add-ons. This carries you to all the add-ons that are available for you to download onto your Fire Stick. And the way you want to download these is once you find one that's not on there, go 
but no, these are all the ones that are downloaded on our Fire Stick. Let's go over here. Yeah, there we go. System add-ons. All right. You want to go to install from repository. Go to all repositories. And you can do your game add-ons. You can do your music, your picture, programs, and your videos. You go to your videos. You look in the top right. You have 1,224 different add-ons to choose from to add. Alright, let's find an add-on here to uh, download that way you'll know how to add an add-on to it. Okay, let's go to Aries Comedy. You just click on it and you install it. Anytime you're installing it, you want to look for that version right over there that has the, the Cody symbol and all the symbols above it. That is a really good one. Alright, it'll always download from that. This has got a lot of different add-ons that you can choose from. There you go. It's enabled. Now I'm going to show you how to upload your free VPNs. Come over here, you go to your APK, you go to your number one mobile market, you want to install that. First you want to come down here to your mobile mouse. Which is right there, your mouse toggle APK, you type on select. Same way you open all the other ones. Go to your more. Open in browser. It's going to download it. You open file. I've already got it installed. And you install it. Once it's installed, you press your play button twice. And it pops up your mobile mouse. You see it right there running around the screen. At your mobile mouse. But it helps for whenever you're uploading these these uh, VPNs. You just tap play for a second and it goes away. Alright. You select your mobile market. Come over here and you you open it in browser. Just like you do for the other ones just once and you install it through there All right, once you get it installed I already have it so I'm just going to go to applications manage installed go to the mobile one market launch it okay this is where it comes in handy you want to type it Tap your play twice. You want to get your mobile mouse on the screen. You bring it all the way up to your search. All right. Once you get it in your search, you push select one time, and you press select again, and it brings you to this. You hold it for a second, and it goes away. This right here, you want to put in your V, P, you want to make sure you delete everything. Alright, and you just type in V, P, N. Next, now this brings you up a whole list of your 
VPNs you can use. You scroll down through it, and the two that I really like to use is this one right here, the Opera. You'll want to bring your uh, mouse back up, double click your play button, you select Opera, go up here, you want the free, and it's going to download it. These are really good. That they keep it to where you can't, where they can't geo block you or anything like that. And it allows your Fire Stick to run a lot better. All right. Go down here to install. You may have to uh, remove your mouse toggle button before it'll start. Before you can scroll down to install it. Alright, now you open it. Once you have it open, get your mouse back up there. And click get started come down here to the very bottom if your TV is zoomed out it's going to be very hard to see these bottom options so make sure your TV picture is set to normal you just go over over and over again you click got it you remove your mouse toggle you click OK you double click and get your mouse toggle back on. You come up here, you connect it. And there you go, your VPN is set. You can also go up here and you can change region. You can make it to where it looks like you're in Canada or Germany or the Netherlands or it's just changing your IP address. I just leave it set as it is, closest region. Okay. I'm gonna go all. I'm gonna push the home button. Go all the way back out of there. Go to my settings. Go to my applications. Manage your installed. Just going back to the mobile one market. And launch it. It should still have your VPNs pulled up like this. And you just go back up here. Go down through this list and you find Ultra Surf. There's another good free VPN. There it is. You want to double click it and get your mouse up there. Get the Ultra Surf VPN beta. Just click on it with your select button. Come up here to free. Press your select button and it starts downloading. Very simple. Okay. You remove your mouse toggle by holding play for a second, you click install, and now it's installing. Go down here, you open it, you get your mouse back up on there, click on that, now it's connected. You remove your mouse toggle, you say, okay. And there you are, you're connected. Stay fast to keep you on.